Hi everyone, welcome to Nan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about what are the VMware vSphere administrator task level one, level two, level three activities. OK, so. Before jump into the actual concept, let's quickly uh, recap our previous session. We talk about whenever we are planning to do any of the administrative task, it's divided into the four parts. Day zero, day one, day two and day n. Day zero means it's mainly talk about the solution design and day one talk about deploy. In other words, we call it as implementation and day two talk about all the operations and the day n is nothing but a life cycle. It's mainly on a regular activities, updates and upgrades. OK, so when it comes to the day zero solution design, when specifically if we talk about VMware, we, we are receiving the main task, sir, ESXi install, configure and management. Normally we can start with the ESXi installation. Either it is a small scale organization, medium scale or large scale. Generally, first we can deploy the ESXi host on a bare metal or sometime we may use a blade servers or we may use a rack mount servers. Once we install the ESXi server, we have to configure the networking storage and we can manage the single ESXi host also. Whenever we are ready with one ESXi host, we can start with a vCenter server installation because vCenter server, it allows to manage multiple ESXi hosts. So even we can create vCenter on a ESXi host as a virtual machine. And once we install the vCenter, we can configure the vCenter and manage the vCenter. And within the vCenter, we have plenty of features and more than 30 plus features I already covered in our previous sessions. So if you interested, you can go through our uh, YouTube channel Agnan Cloud Carriage. Go to the playlist and just find your VSPS 7 and 8, all the video sequences. Okay. And within the VSPS features, we can use mainly HEA DRS. These are the main key features to maintain the high availability and load balancing for our ESXi host. And also another key activity is virtual machine creation and management. And we can also install our project related applications, install, configure and manage. And some scenarios vSphere administrator will help for the application installation. And some scenarios application team will take care of all the application install, configure and manage portion. And our responsibility as a VMware administrator, we have to perform the updates and upgrades. It's specifically for hardware level, firmware updates, BIOS updates. And for the OS level, ESXi host update and upgrades. And for virtual machine level, VMware tools update and upgrades and virtual machine hardware upgrade. So we have to cover all the layers. And once your setup is ready, ESXi host, vCenter, virtual machine, and all the setup is ready, at the end of the day, we have to monitor our infrastructure. As a vSphere administrator, our main responsibility is we make sure that all the environment is healthy. So, but we have to use the monitoring tool. Either we can use vCenter alarm configuration, or we may use vRelays operations manager to monitor our virtual infrastructure. vRelays operation manager is the previous name, the latest name is ARIA operations, OK? And we can also responsible to take the backup of all of our production virtual machines as well as test and development VMs. And whenever any production VM is affected, we can also use the restore option. And reporting also one of the key activity. Normally in the real time scenarios, we recommend to take the reporting for daily report, weekly report and monthly reports. This will help us to track our virtual infrastructure, how availability is we are maintaining the 99.999 percent availability or not and also how is our virtual infrastructure performance on ESXi host layer and virtual machines layer and also the we can also use some third party tools depends on the organization structure and also the troubleshooting these are all the common high level VMware vSphere administrator high level task whatever task we talk about 1 to 11 all these tasks some organization they divided into the levels level 1 level 2 and level 3 in general level 3 team is taken care of design and level 2 team taken care of operations and level 3 only cover day 0 and day 1 and level 2 team is focused on operations 
and level one team is focused on a life cycle update and upgrades even before assigning the update and upgrades to level one team normally first level two team will perform the update and upgrade they prepare a document that document they will assign it to the l1 team so l1 team based on the sop they will follow the procedure but systematically how we can divide level one level two level three activities i will show you in the following slide so if you see here the i divide into the three categories vmware level three task VMware level two task and L1 task. If you see the level three task, day zero means design and day two is operations comes under level two task and our L1 team is taking care of life cycle update and upgrades and also virtual machine snapshot reboots and all taken care by L1 team. And in addition, our VMware L3 team, they will also focus on deploy. That means implementation of ESX server and also the vCenter server and the initial master templates and all taken care by level three team. Even level three team will also help us to prepare the documentation and they will provide the documentation to L2 and L1 teams. And some cases, L3 team share it to the L2 team and L2 team also provide the respective documents to L1 team. That organization hierarchy may follow. And another scenario, whatever task we discussed just now, the tasks are divided in this manner. So ESX and vCenter install configure manage comes under the level three task and vCenter level any configurations like vSwitch configuration, DV switch configuration or migrating the virtual machines from virtual switch to distributed switch. These are all taken care by level two team and ESX host and VMs update and upgrades taken care by L1 team because it's a repeated task first initially either l3 or l2 team will prepare a document and they will share it to the l1 team they will follow the based on the sop they will perform the update and upgrades and another activity licensing even l3 team will taking care of initial licensing they will involve for licensing options and also the pricing and sizing information and solutioning so sizing means it's nothing but a capacity planning how many esx hosts are needed how many workloads we can run on this esx host that initial capacity planning and all taken care by l3 team and the solutioning means suppose we already implemented virtual infrastructure if we plan to do some additional enhancements or if we plan to do for a any of the disaster recovery site during that scenario l3 team will taking care of providing the solutioning architecture okay and l2 team will mainly focus on creating the master template and those template they will assign to the l1 team l1 team will plan to deploy the virtual machines using those master templates generally master templates may consist of windows latest os versions versions like windows 2022 and we can also have a linux flavored versions like red hat enterprise linux 9 series and we can also have solaris version and there are any of the predefined virtual machines or virtual appliances. These all master templates, initial configuration done by L2. Some scenarios, if the L2 also not sure, they will get the help from the L level three team. That means normally the master template must be configured with all the OS level hardening and make that as a master copy and convert that virtual machine to template. That template will be assigned to the L1 team. So whenever the customer requested for a specific operating system additional virtual machines l1 team will de definitely navigate to the vms and templates tab and go to the specific os template and they will deploy the multiple virtual machines okay and request for proposal even l3 team will also involve for a request for proposal sometimes the customers may provide a, some new requirements like uh, they already have a existing infrastructure running on a some hardware that hardware is going to uh, going for a tech refresh or they are planning to migrate their virtual machines from tier based applications to they are planning to migrate to cloud native applications like uh, their container based applications that time also customer may provide some request for proposal rfps those rfps also l3 team will take care some organization they may have a separate solution architect team that they will also taking care of rfps but solution architect team when they are planning to work on the existing project they will definitely they will contact the level three team to get the infrastructure information okay and 
they will also focus on resource l2 team focus on resource pool creation and configuration and l1 team will do on some of the other day options like v motion virtual machine snapshot normally before we applying the patches we need to create a snapshot and also whenever customer is planning for any os level upgrade it's recommend to create a clone copy offline clone and also sometimes we may receive the some regular requests like cpu increase memory increase or disk increase those kind of disk resizing is also taken care by l1 team and automation so l3 team once the project implementation is design and implementation is completed most of the time they have look for a whatever the task our l2 and l1 is repeatedly doing those repeated tasks they will plan to do for a automation so some scenarios they may use some third party external automation tools or if we plan to use the vmware automation tool we may prefer to use v release automation vra that is the previous name but the latest name is aria automation either if you use aria automation tool to automate all our day to tasks okay and day two team also will focus on scheduled task and alert configuration and l1 team they will taking care of initial handling the performance issue whenever the customer raised any incident initial request will go to the l1 team some scenarios l1 team may able to resolve the issue if they are unable to resolve they will escalate it to l2 team and l2 team most of the time they will fix it at the l2 team level some cases still issue is pending at the l2 level they will escalate it to level 3 team okay and l3 team another key responsibility is they will also do the knowledge transfer whenever they perform the design and implementation all the process is completed they will do the knowledge transfer to l2 and l1 some cases only to l2 some companies they will provide the knowledge transfer to all the l1 and l2 teams okay and l2 team also they will focus on projects like migrations if they plan to do the physical to virtual migration or any of the application level migrations and tech refresh l2 team will involve and l1 team will focus on vmware reporting like uh, we have to prepare the reporting for weekly reporting monthly reporting is must and some organization they will also maintain a some daily checklist reporting also this and all to verify that make sure our infrastructure is healthy Okay. so reporting is very important and finally last but not the least troubleshooting scenarios so as i mentioned the most of the initial troubleshooting taken care by l1 some cases if the l1 is unable to resolve those troubleshooting whatever the vmware virtual infrastructure issues those issues it will be escalated to l2 team so l2 team will take care the whatever the l1 unable to resolve those issues l2 team will take care some scenarios if l2 also unable to resolve they will escalate it to l3 team so most of the time issue will be resolved at l3 level but some again there are some possibilities there is a product bug or some driver may required during that scenario we have to contact the vmware technical support team so if the l3 team also busy l3 team will give the instruction to l2 team directly straight away raise the request to the vmware that is also possible but most of the time l1 team is escalated to l2 and l2 will try to resolve if they are unable to resolve they will contact l3 with help of l3 some issues may resolve if any of the issue is unable to resolve they will raise a request to the vmware technical support team okay so this is the high level overview of what are all the task assigned for the level 1 team level 2 team and level 3 team okay hope you got a clear picture of how the tasks are divided into the all the levels okay so that's it for today thank you if you're watching this video first time please do view like share and subscribe to the gnan cloud garage channel if you're already subscribed i appreciate all your support bye for now